and for the news abroad. The Palestinian militant group Hamas agreed on Monday, May 6, to a ceasefire proposal for Gaza put forward by mediators, although Israel expressed dissatisfaction with the terms and proceeded with attacks in Rafah while planning to continue negotiations for a potential deal. In the ongoing conflict, Israeli forces carried out strikes in Rafah, a city on the southern edge of Gaza, through air and ground operations and instructed residents to evacuate certain areas. Rafah has served as a sanctuary for over a million displaced Palestinians. Hamas, through a brief statement, confirmed that its leader, Ismail Haniyeh, had communicated acceptance of the ceasefire proposal from Qatari and Egyptian mediators. However, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office later stated that Hamas' proposed ceasefire did not meet Israel's expectations. Despite this, Israel agreed to send a delegation for further discussions in an attempt to reach a resolution. Netanyahu's office also announced that the war cabinet endorsed the continuation of operations in Rafah. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres called on both Israel and Hamas to make additional efforts to reach an agreement, according to his spokesperson. An Israeli official, speaking anonymously, described the ceasefire, ceasefire proposal accepted by Hamas as a diluted version.